This is Jason Perkins, Solutions Consultant here at Renaissance Tech. Uh, today we're going to cover a little bit of 2D automation for the CPQ suite. Uh, here I have loaded a door demo. You can see on the right we have uh, door models loaded that are dynamically adjusting to the inputs that we give it. Uh, you can see here we can change our door styles to a couple different options, uh, including arch panel and arch top. And then if we go and update different fields, we're able to dynamically regenerate this model here on the right and get an output that is of sales quality, not exactly the, the accuracy that you'd want on the shop floor, but it will generate an output in multiple different file types uh, based on our configurations. Um, next, we're going to take a look at the rules in the that run the background of generating these images. Hi, I'm Austin Ningle. I'm also a solution consultant with Renaissance Tech. Um, here I've got the rule set driving the 2D automation rules for the panel um, that's being connected to the overall door image that you just saw. Um, so here we've got, you know, the 2D rules are typically sectioned out um, or there are typically three types of 2D rules, one being the rules that load in the models, um, load in the settings, one being the uh, geometry changing rules, um, then the last kind of section being the output of the 2D image. So the first section, you know, we're going to load in just the panel model. We've already at this point loaded in the full door, the rest of the door rather, um, and we're loading in just the door panel 2D model here, giving it a name. Moving on to the geometry changing rules we're going to set the parameters to whatever the user selected um, change the actual parameters and size of the and the reveal as well of the panel um, we're going to regenerate it set it to free in other words take a snapshot of it um, and then connect that snapshot of that panel to the rest of the door here um, we're connecting it to the door frame at a specific point um, and then you eventually get do this enough to get the full image of all the models connected. Uh, then we have the output section. Uh, here I'm just outputting it as an SVG, but like Jason mentioned, you can output it as really any um, image format available, um, giving it a name, and um, that is the final image output. So you just saw an example of how 2D automation can be used as a sales tool, um, which is just one of the many powerful features of CPQ.